All right, back on the Young Turks. Now, we're going to tell you about the fight back against Citizens United. It has begun. The battle is joined. Red states like Montana, also cities like New York that are, of course, in the blue state of New York, both fighting from different sides of the country against Citizens United. I love it. As Rick Santorum would say, game on. Ironic that I would quote Santorum there. I'm going to bring in Mike Sachs. He's the Supreme Court correspondent for the Huffington Post to tell us all about it. Mike, tell us about what's going on in Montana. All right, so just before the turn of the new year, the Montana Supreme Court, by a 5 to 2 vote, said, hey, this, uh, this, this Citizens United decision, it doesn't apply to the state, uh, this, the state law that we have banning corporate campaign uh, expenditures to, uh, to our state and local uh, electoral campaigns. All right, well, first so, of all, that's yeah. fantastic. Uh, yeah. I love that they're just saying, no, it doesn't apply. Why is that? <laughs> what's, what was uh, their law from 1912? And, and what's their justification for keeping it? They said that Montana has a compelling state interest in banning all corporate spending in campaigns. They said that because uh, the, during the robber baron age and the gilded age at the turn of the century, Montana was so thoroughly corrupt that it was really just a shell of, uh, of, of a government. And it was really handled by the mining interests in the state, uh, that the voters, they said, hey, we're not going to deal with this anymore. We're going to pass a voter initiative to get all that money out of our politics. So that's what they did. And for 99 years, the law remained, uh, remained the law of the state. Now, with Citizens United, you can argue, and the, the Supreme Court will likely say, that its opinion uh, really invalidated the Montana, the Montana law. Uh, but the, Supreme, the Montana Supreme Court, raging against that dying of the light, said, well, we're going to fight on until the last battle when the Supreme Court tells us you can't do this. So I love that they did that. I mean, and they're right. Does it still corrupt uh, politicians? Of course, of course it does. <laughs> but, you know, it's interesting. One of the dissenting judges, and it was a 5-2 decision, but even one of the dissenting judges hates Citizen United. He called it utter nonsense, right? But yeah. he said, what are yeah. we going to do? We've got to follow the Supreme Court. So on what basis did the majority in this case say, yeah, 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 Supreme Court, take it somewhere else. Well, because the Supreme Court made the mistake of pretending as if uh, independent expenditures in campaigns uh, by facts alone could never uh, be a corrupting influence or create the appearance of corruption. So uh, instead of saying, well, we just think the First Amendment trumps, the First Amendment as we interpret it, trumps uh, any corrupting concerns. So what the Montana Supreme Court did, it called the, the U.S. Supreme Court's bluff and said, well, by the facts we have before us, we know that independent spending in campaigns does corrupt our political process. See, that's actually a really interesting point, because Montana can turn around and go, on a national level, you might think the facts don't outweigh the First Amendment issue, but we do in Montana, and this is the facts in front of us. And then you would turn around to conservatives and say, Tenth Amendment, man. States' rights. What are you going to do? Have the federal government interfere with our state rights? We say that this is what the facts in Montana are. I love it. I love that they're fighting back. Now, real quick, tell me about uh, what New York City is doing. New York City, its city council, passed a resolution uh, saying that it, as a city, is going to be against Citizens United. And even further, it wants to strike at the, strike at the root of Citizens United and be against the case from the 1970s called Buckley v. Vallejo, which the court first announced money equals speech. So the New York City Council said, you know what, we're going to not only strike at Citizens United and say we don't believe in this, but we're going to strike at the very root of Citizens United and say we're, we want all of that out and we want a constitutional amendment to get it all out of our politics. Uh, I love it, man. Other cities have done it too, L.A., uh, Oakland, et cetera. Hey, the battle is joined, red states and blue states. Mike Sachs, Supreme Court correspondent for Huffington Post, thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. You're, you're welcome. Thanks for having me.